Scientists at the Child's Research Institute at Providence's Robert Franz Cancer Center think they have a plan to prepare our bodies for COVID-19. They're experts in the invisible world of RNA and DNA. They research cancer and immunotherapy, and they're using that knowledge to take on the virus, pull it apart, and use part of its structure against it. They believe those red spikes on the outside of the virus hold a key to building the body's defenses. They want to inject volunteers with the DNA that makes just that part of the virus. That DNA is taken up by your own cells, and your own cells make those little spikes and secrete them or present them to the immune system as if you had the virus. Of course, you only have the little spikes. You don't have the virus. But the immune system gets to see that replica and get prepared. I talked with Dr. Ram Liedner there on the right and Bernard Fox. They're leading the team that focuses on the virus. They agreed to chat over Zoom early this afternoon, which I recorded in my basement studio. They carefully kept their distance from each other. Their plan calls for a second injection of something called interleukin-12, which is a key part of each body's response to viral infections. That injection would give the body a major boost. And so it simulates, again, as if you had the infection. We have a fake copy of the spike proteins that decorate the virus, and we have this the immune system's own ramping up signal to say, hey, I've got an infection, let's get going and attack this. New drugs typically take a year and a half to bring to the public, but with a worldwide pandemic, those timelines are speeding up dramatically. The researchers hope to get the green light to start with volunteers in the next month or two, and if all goes well, have it ready for the rest of us by this time next year. The researchers say they'll put out a call for volunteers when they get closer to actually starting those clinical trials. They also pointed out that Private philanthropy has supported their labs even as federal support has dwindled. And they say that private support is the reason they were able to attack this problem so fast. In Northeast Portland, Pat Doris, KGW News.